Okay, today's video, I'm going to share with you what I have been eating for lunch probably for the last three months. Absolutely love this lunch. I make it for Lou, only I make a larger size for Lou and I use an actual wrap for Lou. Um, but I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to quickly go through what you will need to make this and then I will actually make it for you. So you're going to need a frying pan and you need one only about this size. If you have larger, that's fine. Now, a couple times a week, I grill up chicken breast. So I always have some chicken breast on hand. I do nothing more than salt and pepper it and grill it either on the stove or outside on the grill. It does not matter. It all tastes the same to me. And then I measure out two ounces of chicken for my lunch, sometimes three. It all depends on how, what else I eat during the day. But for the most part, it's two ounces because that's really all I can fit on this wrap. And it's very, very filling. All right, so the next thing you will need is a wrap. Now, this is the one that I have been enjoying and I use the plain, I use the Southwest style or the poppy seed, or is it everything bagel? It's everything bagel but it's from Egg Life. You get this in the refrigerated sections. I know that Walmart has them, uh, Sprouts has them, and Target has them sometimes. And uh, I have not seen them at Wegmans or at Publix. So keep that in mind when you're out looking for them. They're very low calorie, but they do have five grams of protein. They only have one gram of carb and no saturated fat. They are made with egg whites and I believe just some seasoning. And that is about it. They are so good. But I don't like them as much when you just pull them right out of the package. See, they're nice and flimsy. I mean, they have a nice flavor, but I'm gonna show you how to make it. So delicious, my friends. All right, so along with that, you will need your choice of cheese. I have the Trader Joe's today, but I buy whatever is light shredded three cheese blend. This has mozzarella, Monterey Jack, and cheddar cheese. Uh, they have a Mexican blend that's good. If you want just cheddar, you can do that. If you want Colby Jack, you can do that. Uh, you can use full fat cheese if you want, but remember, macros must be weighed out. So a serving size, I'm gonna have with my lunch is 28 grams. And what I do is I have everything ready to go. Here's my wrap, here's my two ounces of chicken. I use a quarter of an avocado and I also put my cheese on here. And then I have this wonderful queso dip that I actually bought at Costco and had Lou drive it here. Um, it's the queso mama white queso with diced green chilies. I use half a serving. A serving of this is 30 grams. I use 15 grams of it for this sandwich. So, and you can use whatever you like. I also add a little bit of uh, chipotle Tabasco sauce. I do like the uh, a different brand more than this, but sometimes uh, here in New York, I can't find the things that I can find in Florida. So I just have to go with the flow, my friends. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our pan, our stove, and I put it on high right away. And then I'm going to take half of the cheese serving and I'm just going to sprinkle it on the pan. And I'm going to make it the size of my wrap. So that is about the size of my wrap. And then I'm going to take my wrap and set it down on the cheese. Then I will take the rest of the cheese and sprinkle it on the top of the wrap. Oh, this is so good, my friends, so, so good. And I get all of the cheese because, you know, I weighed it out and it's going in as my calories. So I put that on and, and now I'm gonna come in with my chicken and I'm gonna lay it only on half and I try to get it where it's absolutely right in half. And the reason why I like to put it on the cheese is because the cheese melts and then it holds the chicken in place. But you only wanna do half of this unless you wanna eat it like it's a pizza and then you can do the whole thing. I like to eat it this way, so I just shred my chicken and I put it on. And this one here is a little too big, so I'm just going to turn it sideways. And now I'm gonna turn the burner down to about medium low. And I'm going to add my avocado now. And my avocado slices, I just lay on top of the chicken. 
and sometimes they fall out and sometimes they don't. It all depends, but I'm gonna show you how to flip it and everything. Okay, so next I'm going to take my 15 grams of queso and I'm just gonna make three dollops on top of the other side. And this queso, oh my goodness, I didn't know I loved queso. <laughs> I love queso. And remember, I follow 80 whole foods. The chicken I grilled up, the avocado is uh, whole food. And I know the wrap is actually processed, but it's it's just really egg whites and spices. There's not much in there. So I look at this as 80% good and then this queso. Let me see what's in the queso. Let's see how bad it is. All right, the queso has American cheese, so that's processed. Then it has milk, skim milk, cream. It has some water, green chilies, roasted jalapenos, non-fat dry milk. It does have a little bit of dextrose in it. So read the ingredients and remember, you get to choose what you put in your body. You don't have to put the same things I'm using. You can find a queso that you like. Perhaps, Perhaps you are someone that has a wonderful plant-based queso that you like to eat, then you go right ahead and do that. Okay, so what we're trying to do here, first of all, the queso is going to melt down a little bit, but what we're trying to do here is I'm trying to get a crispy crust on the outside. So I'm gonna lift it up and take a look. You want that to, oh, get, you want it to be crispy. So I'm gonna let it go for a, another few seconds and we'll see. You can tell because usually the shell will start to bubble a little, but this also allows the chicken to get a little bit warm, which is really great. All right, so while that is finishing up, you can see that the queso is melting. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the smoked chipotle hot sauce on here. And you don't have to add this. And if you don't like avocados, you don't have to add avocado. If you like a different cheese, you use that different cheese. Um, if you like uh, gorgonzola, put a little gorgonzola and some barbecue sauce. You can use steak in this. You can use seafood if you want. You can make this out of salmon. You can use any protein source you like. You can use pork and put some barbecue sauce on it. It's all up to you. It's your lunch and your macros will be different from my macros. But I am telling you, I eat this and I might have a little yogurt uh, with it. And I am completely full until dinner time. All right, so that probably has gotten right to where I want it. So I'm just gonna take a spatula on the end here and just be very careful. And I'm going to fold it. But as I fold it, I'm going to push on the other side and make sure that all of my all of the guts stay where they're supposed to. But you see how nice and crispy that is? So now you can go ahead and turn your burner off and just push the insides back in while it's setting into place. And there you have a very, very tasty lunch. I don't feel like there's anything diet going on here. If you don't like an egg wrap, then you could, let me go grab them so I can show you. If you don't like the idea of the egg wrap, you can go ahead and use uh, a, this is the extreme wellness high fiber it's a little bit smaller so you're going to have to watch what you stuff into it but they do have larger sizes and this is the size that i make for louis and these are this is really a nice brand uh, i started buying this here in new york because this one is not everywhere that i shop so i started buying this and it's really nice now i don't follow low carb or anything like that but i like these and it has 45 calories, 11 fiber, and five grams of protein. So you are getting some extra protein here. And this allows you to put three to four ounces of chicken on if you need to get more uh, protein into your diet. Because some people really struggle with getting their protein. You don't have to struggle. You really don't. Because you can find things that are really tasty that give you extra protein. So now if I have a yogurt with this that might have 17 grams of protein. I have my chicken. I have my wrap. Everything has a little bit of protein in it, so I'm really doing pretty good. And I will put the macros down below for you or in an annotation. So that is my lunch. I'm just going to serve it up on my biodegradable paper plate. I don't need the paper plate police telling me. You had me until you served it on a paper plate. Okay, so that is my lunch. It is so good. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. So, so good, my friends. I love it. Usually, mm -mm. 
usually I let it cool down just slightly because it's like a pizza. You know, you can't cut a pizza when you first take it out of the oven because the cheese is just gonna be all over the place. So just give it a second or two to settle and you can pick it up and eat it just like a taco. All right, my friends, so that is a lunch that I have on a regular basis and anything that falls out, I just eat. But I have this on a regular basis and I absolutely love it. It is so full of flavor. Now I am going to do what I eat in a day. Um, I just, I haven't really gotten the hang of being a food video person. <laughs> so just bear with me. I thought, well, I'll bring them one at a time and get you started on some really great macro-friendly meals. All right, my friends, before I leave you, I did want to show you, this is a scale I use to weigh everything. Here's what's important. When you get a scale, you want to be able to change it from pound, ounces, mil, to grams. That, because liquids are usually done in mil, not grams. All right, so... I use this, I'll link this below if I can find it. I just got it on uh, Amazon. So if I can find it, I'll link it. And that is it for today's video. So if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So hit the subscribe button. Right next to it is the bell, notifies you of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world, be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love your age. I love you all, bisous.